Welcome back everybody to Forming Simulator 19 here on GoCrest Valley V219. Folks, we are about to start our next contract. Oh boy. I, I don't know where to begin. We got a few trees right there on the right. Let's zoom in over here real quick. We got well, actually we got a few down this road here we got to take out. We got this in here. And then we probably can see probably these three right here and those three. So it's six, seven, plus those down there on the right side of this road. Make sure I don't fly my drone in and up. And then we got ones right there. On that side of the parking lot, around, and on this side of the parking lot. And it goes over to, I think, let me zoom down. And you see the red X up there. Wow, well, I'm crash my drone. Red X on that tree there. It basically just goes straight up to that next big tree right above it. It'd be right there. Straight line up that way. So big tree, big tree, and everything on this side of the big trees. And plus some up here. I might see a tree already down. I don't know. What do I do with that tree? Unless it rolled down. But we also got uh, these few right here. And on around. I think that big tree stays it's just round the hill there because they're gonna knock that hill down some and yeah um, they're actually trying to get all of these trees over and around on this triangle here taken out now I told them I don't know if I can do all that if I can do Everything that's in this triangle here where the road's at, plus all that down there, folks, it's a whopping, a whopping $200,000. Um, yeah, just 150000 just the, uh, you know, everything that's on this side of the big trees and down the side of the right side of the road. So extra fifty thousand for all of them. I thought I'm gonna try it, and if I don't get all of it done, or if something happens, I can't get it done. Well, they're going just pay me for what I've done. So if I cut down five trees, twenty trees, something like that, probably I don't know twenty thirty thousand, something like that. It just all depends on what I get paid, you know, what I get done. So, without wasting time, uh, I bought, well, at least a yarder, which is just a, basically a big crane. I'll show you here. I, I, at least this guy right here. Now, I couldn't figure out how to get it to work. I thought you just attach the cable from it to the trees, but... Apparently, it's got to be attached to something else, and there's a grapple that flows up and down on it. So, I, I don't know how that works. So, what we'll probably end up doing is cutting the trees down. They said as long as nothing gets hurt, I'm good to go. But we got cars to deal with, we got trees rolling down. The hill to deal with. So yeah. It's, it's going to be a big mess. But we're going to start at the top. And then work our way down. And around. So yeah. Let's get busy shall we. I just wish this rain would stop. I really 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 do. Oh wait a second. I got, I got to go to the sawmill. I'll meet y'all at the sawmill. All right, this is uh, what's left from the uh, um, hotel. We got all it done, so we should be 
uh, expecting a payment from that. $15,615. Bring this $23,000. And just, oh, wrong button. And to show y'all here, we're down to four hundred and thirty. I'm fixing to pay back. That's four hundred and ten thousand left on the loan. Woo! Well, anyway, yeah, I'm uh, gonna take this truck up to the new job site. Um. Yeah. Here we go. All right, we are back up here, folks, and thought I'd just go go around this hill here first and get this place situated. And plus, if we get this hill done, they can come in and start leveling it down or whatever they got to do. I guess they're going to level it down. That's what heard anyway. Ah, don't bounce, don't bounce. I might have to practice on that other machine, that yarder, because that would be pretty neat and use it to zip those trees up and down that side there. Alright, let's see. Yep, I see an X. Yay, the rain stopped almost. Let's slow that time down just a little. I'm going to keep it at five times. Um, I think if we let's go here. Yeah, see, so it's going to rain a little bit more today than Friday. No rain, and the sun comes out later that evening. So maybe we'll have a, a drying chance. But Saturday, it's going to rain, and Sunday and Monday, we might mow some grass Sunday and Monday, maybe. We'll, we'll see. All depends, folks, all depends. The weather can be something else. But I hope all y'all doing all right and stuff. You know, I keep on forgetting. Making double episodes like this. You know, I just got through recording yesterday's episode. And I'm recording today's. And I'm like, yeah. Don't get confused, Mr. Blade. Keep your mind on, on the subject of this video. Yeah. Good luck for that. But yeah, I, I, I like this machine, folks, as you can tell. Just think, if I had those joysticks, how much better it would be. Uh, according to FDR logging, it, it's just like driving a real thing when you get the joysticks. He's got a button. Go check out their channel. He's, he's got a couple videos on his setup and stuff. Uh, that's neat. The chair he's got sitting in has a joystick on each side of it. And uh, yeah, it's just it's nice, folks. One of these days, I'll have it. All right. Um, if the rest of us this easy, it'd be all right. I uh, got a few on top of the mountain there, or a hill. If I speed up the rotation on the head there, it speeds up the arm controls too, and it just makes it a little too hard to keep it straight. And did I just, oh no, I ain't to it yet. Okay. I'm not getting there. Ah, 
bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. I got too low on the ground. What's making it do that? Are we getting uh, seasick yet? All this movement? Try not to, folks. So I'm going to go ahead and back this one up to that pile. Keep the truck away from the edge of that cliff. Oh, yeah. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and go up and see what the view looks like. Oh, look at the view over across there, folks. That's, that's pretty. Oh, should I should have put some fuel in this thing before I started. And I went into the XML and tried to speed this thing up, but it said at 10, I put it to 20, so it should be 8 mile an hour, but Oh, lucky dory, where do we start first? Let's start right here. Come on, rotate. There you go. I wish you could set each and, and uh, each individual. Oh, I don't like anything. Arm to its own corresponding speed or I'm trying to say these big words I don't know how. Oh that didn't cut. That did. Um I need to pick C's where they're a row down the cliff right here. It's gonna be some extra timing doing that but Whoa. I almost tipped it over. Can't have no accidents. If we go home safe, it'll be a lovely, hopefully, 200000 And I don't forgot how much a, a hotel is going to give me. I'm going to go back and look at my notes. But we've been pretty good getting the loan paid down. When we get it paid down, I'm thinking about buying another tractor or two. More uh, up to style, kind of. Alright, I'm going to spin around. Alright, let's take this one. I'm just going to back up and throw them behind us. Ah, keep turning. I guess the ground's making it do that. Probably, is it? Yeah, I'm hitting part of the ground right there. Well, it says I cut it from there. That was a high cut. Well, not too high. Okay, swing around, big boy. Now, I say I wish I could, when I'm doing that, I could swing the camera around too. That'd nah, be all right, right? Now, if we didn't have this, I don't know. I don't think a, a Hitachi could do all of this. These are some big trees. You see how it's kind of throwing this thing around when I turn it a certain way. All right, that's going to be perfect. They're all rolling down just right. Uh oh. Okay. There we go. Let's see here. Get over here. Probably go for these. But folks, I'm on a... I already got 15 minutes. Let me get some more of these trees down. And I'll bring you back when we get a little bit closer. Alright? Alright. Alright, everybody. 
I haven't got very far and I've been looking and uh, basically uh oh getting uh, no idea how to do this about running this thing completely off the cliff only thing I can think of is just take my chainsaw wait a couple more hours till everybody goes home down there and they start letting the trees rip uh, I've got like one or two more I can probably reach but I think I'm just going to cut them where they'll fall downward and uh go from there let me shut this bad boy off here fly my drone here as you can see that in there is that in? I don't think this one's marked fly my drone around it nope that one's good we don't have to touch it it was that in there and this one and of course you can see the red on that and, and that in there and it should just go straight down to this big one here and all those there but we got a few cars I can cut the top ones already and they're not going to go these other trees will catch them um, wrong way buddy go this way go down I think those yeah those are just bushes right there we don't have to worry about them but yeah I think I can get that in up there with the tractors at and probably get that and but this big one right here and the rest of them I'm just gonna cut and let them grow um, I'm thinking about leasing a skid steer um, or a skitter Um, Skitter might make it down there. I don't know. We got rent a uh, 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 like a bobcat skid steers thing, and these here. I'm probably going to have to do the same on the ones on the cliffs here. And uh, yeah, we'll get those on that side done. Then we'll come over here on this side and worry about that. A lot of this I might do off screen, folks. Uh, it's going to be very time consuming. So yeah. And I'm already about probably 18, 19 minutes in. So um, yeah, I'm going to do the rest of this off screen on this part here probably. And some of this over here. Um, talk to the guy a little bit more. And we got thinking. Um, I, I don't know if they can do it or not. But. If they do. It's going to help out us a lot. Because we'll get commission off of it. But he wants me to go in this whole triangle from that road up there. I probably already explained it in the beginning, but I'm going to explain it again. From where we're parked at there, follow this road to that corner, all the trees on both sides of this road, all this little triangle here, want all the trees cut down. And he's going to hire somebody to come in and flatten this ground out right here. Uh, not too much. But he don't know. He's got to talk to his engineer. It's either going to go. I, I think they'll probably put it on this side. Since the farmer owns quite a bit of that over I, I think he'll put it on this side, but it's going to be a big giant windmill. I'm like, well, holy cow. Gold Crest going to get a windmill. As far as I know, we don't have a windmill here, so that, that's going to help out a lot. All right, uh, I'm getting a nosebleed, having my drone up so high. So, But, folks, that's what we're going to, uh, that's what I'm going to be working on. And yeah, um, 
already got all these over here loaded except for you know what I just came through there again all those are loaded wow gonna crash my drone I'm back drone all right sorry about that folks my I got a refrigerator sitting on my little table here and go back in some of the other videos you'll see my setup but it's just a, a kitchen cart um, that I put a bottom in set a refrigerator there then I got my Xbox on top of that and then I got like a little keyboard slide and then the top of the kitchen cart is where my monitor is setting and I made a little thing on the side to put my PC I had this for a while but every time the refrigerator kicks off my monitor goes off for a second now it's on the same plug-in but it I guess it has a power surge or something but anyway it just uh, shut my Xbox controller off there for a second so that's what the little glitch gonna be about um, I'm gonna get the rest of these loaded up folks and uh, do the rest of this off screen so I appreciate y'all coming out watching everything I'm no this ain't been too much in it um, I'm gonna show y'all something here real quick chickens are doing pretty good but well, we got rain today Friday looks good it's cloudy um, Friday about what nine o'clock nine a.m. looks like uh, down here at the very bottom drying potential shown to be good now I know the sun's gonna come out but and this is the wind speeds too we gotta look at this her wind speed is good for drying too so I'm thinking about early Friday morning which be probably the next episode with y'all um, I'm going to start mowing some grass um, probably mow that on the um, by the train station and um, there's one thing about it the baler I got we, we can't wrap those bales <sighs> we're going to have to start doing something we're going to start planting Alright, us see planting wheat needs to be 43 and I want to plant soybeans needs to be 50 and right now our ground temperature is at 41 if you can see it up there and there you can, probably, you can see it good right there so uh, yeah we, we gotta get planting soon or we're gonna <sighs> but this warms up a little bit more but folks, I, I'm going to quit lagging out here, not lagging out, but stalling, I guess, and um, get some of this stuff done. I'm going to cut that tree and then I'm going to load them. Yeah, so uh, stay tuned to next time. See what kind of damage I do. <laughs> it's going to be terrible, folks. Anyway, I love y'all. Y'all have a great day, a blessed day, and I will see y'all later. Bye.